another one, uh, which obviously is my favorite segment, my culture. And now among the Abaluya community, when a polygamous man dies, his remains are traditionally buried in the first family's homestead. In the event, this tradition is not adhered to and a complaint is successfully lodged, then an exhumation of the body is ordered to correct the anomaly. Such is what befell a family in Malava, as Jack Wambiru now explains in tonight's edition of My Culture. Take a look. At Malava, Kakamega County, a family dispute was brewing after the patriarch passed on. Saulo Muchendo was the head of a polygamous family and his body was picked up from the funeral home for burial. Muchendo's second family organized and oversaw the funeral arrangements. Sasa nasika museangu kwa pomayangu na mimi ni muke mukubwa ni nashukuru sana. Kwa mana sheme kiyangu walikuwa wameninyanganya musa yangu. Paka nilikuwa nime shangaa sana kwa sheme kiyangu atukia kwa sana. Na lakini wakaninyanganya tu musa yangu wakasika mahali penya haku takikana. However, according to Abaloya traditions, the patriarch remains are supposed to be interred at his first wife's homestead. This requirement prompted the need to adhere to traditions of laying the body to rest at the rightful home. Tukaenda kwa polisi wakati wambia tuende kwa mahakama. Tukaenda mahakamani, tukafanya kiezi, tukashinda wakati wambia tukuje kufukua mwili. Si kutaka wasika huko kwa mana mimi ni muke mkubwa na tena huyo. Ni muke mutoko na ni muchane. Asitahiri kusika wase wawili na mimi niko. Iyo ndiyo ilifanya nikasema paka lasima nisike muse yangu. Umezika mume na uolewe na mume mwingine uwa uziki mume wako akifa. Walikuwa nafanya iyo ndiyo bibi ambaye alifungua poma yyo poma. E, uyo ndiyo alifungua yyo poma. Uyo alifakia poma. The family successfully sought a court order to exhume the body. On the material day, the exhumation was witnessed by the first family, security agencies, residents excluding the second family. Mimi nimekuja tu hapo kutazama kwa kisha kwamba mwili umezikwa wele inafanyika katika mila na testuri zetu kulingana na mariamu alikuwa ameweka mwelekeo kwamba atazikwa kwa pipi mdoko ambayo kulingana na testuri na mila zetu mara nyingi huwa wanaume huwa wanazikwa kwa pipi mkubwa hiyo ndiyo sababu koti ilifuatilia hizo mila na ikatoa ule uamuzi na sisi hatuwezi pinga uamuzi wa koti wesi kujua kisa na maana ya wao kutokuwa hapa leo kwa sababu walizika kimakosa wanaonekana tena wakipartisipate kwa siku ya leo Maybe watachukua lana kwa sababu hata sisi tuna, tunatoa kwa sababu kwa, kwa sheria ya muluia nyumba hii yote jamii yote mbili itajukua lana kwa sababu itendeki hivyo kwetu it took efforts of several young men to break into the sealed grave and remove the remains from the coffin mbaka niwe na madawa ya kienyechi niwe na kondoo kidogo niwe na kakuku nitengenese ni pewa watoto wangu na wachukuu watumie ndio tukae pamoja sipo kunya hiyo akiwa wao wengine watakuwa watakuwa kombo watakuwa eh, tofauti the remains are then transferred into a fresh coffin the group involved in the process drank some traditional herbs so that the spirit of the deceased could not haunt them The grave at Muchendo's second home was then destroyed and the graveyard set ablaze. With the exhumation, the family had to return to the drawing board and make fresh burial plans. At Muchendo's first family home, another grave was then dug according to Abaloya traditions. On the same day, a burial service was held. The remains of Saulo Muchendo were reburied at his first wife's home. A cockerel, Sheep and a bull were then slaughtered to cleanse the family. Baada ya hapa kuna shere. Kwa sababu unaona hapo wanaikimbua tutakinja kondo. Sababu hii ni makosa walifanya hawa. Eh, kuna kukula. Kuna musiki leo tutasherekea 
tena tutakuja kufanya ibada ile mzuri kabisa in some cases after exhumation the remains are returned to the mortuary unlike in this situation tukimaliza tuwaje kwa amani tuwaje tu watoto wa bomba ili wote kwa amani a few weeks after the body was exhumed and reburied both families come together and try to use alternative dispute resolution <laughs>